Hi everybody, it's Martha Stewart with Facebook Live. And today, uh, well, we're having a very nice afternoon. Uh, all my interns that are working at uh, Martha Stewart Living at Sequential Brands are in this room here at the Starrett Lehigh Building on 26th Street and the Hudson River in New York City. And we've had a very nice lunch, a discussion of uh, uh, hopes and dreams and aspirations. I've been introduced to each and every one of the interns and uh, now I know where they went to college or where they're going to college, <laughs> what they're thinking about doing with their lives. And uh, it's always a, a very inspiring day for me and I hope for the interns. Uh, and now uh, we thought we would share with you uh, a craft project, two craft projects in fact. One is a stenciling project we have our beautiful mugs. These are our Macy's Wim line uh, with uh, cute little images on. Uh, we have pelicans. You have a zebra. And uh, just pelicans and zebras, is that it? Yes. Uh, and there's a space here where you can put your name, your initials. You could even say hi. <laughs> whatever, whatever you want. Uh, by using, and we're using our Martha Stewart Crafts paints. This is a satin. Uh, all-purpose paint it can be uh, used on any surface and it is uh, really an amazing paint uh, even fine artists are using this paint um, some of my friends who are, are painters um, said oh we went to Michael's and we found your paint and it's working very well so and then they're selling their canvases to the Museum of Modern Art uh, so we have a lot of colors and uh, what I've done this is I've applied Martha on my cup um, and these letters just can overlap a little bit and they're, they have a, a sticky back uh, just like this big V that you peel it off the back and then apply that and then for safety's sake a little masking tape uh, will protect the rest of the cup from getting messed up. Uh, use your pouncer. This is called a pouncer. Did you know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> See? Stamp. Oh no, it's a pouncer. It's a special uh, sponge a tip on this nice little uh, ergonomically correct handle and I'm using black paint and I'm going to pounce right on top of the letters and a pouncer applies the exact right amount of paint without dripping and and uh, and I'm using just the paper surface of the table to spread the paint evenly and you can do one coat if you feel like you need a second coat you can do a second coat but let me show you first and I like to let it dry a little bit before I peel off the masking tape and the letters. But these letters are reusable, which is a very nice feature of the stenciling. You can reuse them. They, they, um, it actually works quickly. So I can peel off the masking tape. And then the letters. And I use black because there's a lot of black in our bird. I just got back from the Galapagos and we saw lots of wildlife. These cups actually remind me, I didn't see zebras, not, <laughs> not, not in the Galapagos, but I did see pelicans and boy were they voracious, diving like crazy. And uh, so then I'll peel off letter number. Look how perfectly, yeah, so who needs an A? <laughs> and you can wash these off. There's an H. You can just put them in the wash them off. A T, an R, an M. There. And doesn't that look great? Yeah. And it's long lasting, uh, washable, dishwasher proof, etc., etc. That's the beauty of this particular paint. Can you get a good view? Yeah, lovely. So Susan said she's never heard of a pouncer. Where can you buy them? Uh, at, well, all our craft. Um, items, the paints, the stencils, the um, pouncers are available at Michael's. Uh, that is the big craft store in America. And uh, we've just announced a, a new um, arrangement with Michael's where we'll be doing even more fab fabulous projects with Michael's in the coming months and years. So we're very excited about it. But it is a, it is a great store to, uh, for, for the crafters in America. And that is, I think, extra good. So what, why don't you start? Now, I don't know what to put on. The paint is permanent for 21 days. Okay, I just want you to know that. Uh, 
or you can put this in the oven and bake it for um, a longer life. Uh, and I think uh, you should uh, bake it at 350 degrees for 30 minutes and just let it sit in the warm oven. Uh, that will be permanent then. So it's permanent for 21 days and then will start to probably fade if you don't bake it. So bake it. And we can bake all yours, whatever you want to do. So if you need more letters, I have these other letters. And you can do other colors if you want, of course. So here's a T. More like an environment A. No, you, you <laughs> certainly can. I have, I hog two of them. And I like craft projects a lot because um, they, uh, it, you get a sort of great sense of satisfaction. There might be one in here. So after you bake them, they're, are they dishwashers? Yeah, oh yes, definitely. And let me see, is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. So I want to do another one. Let's see, I'm going to do one for um, Jude. I need a J. Any J's anywhere? Oh, here's a J. Oh, no, I want a big J. Oh, a big J? Yeah. Yeah, you can do like oh, here's a J. A J and an S. Here, I got it. So, Martha, it. someone was asking, how can you put the, make sure to put the letters on straight? Well, you can uh, do a little pencil line if you want. The masking tape. Uh, yeah, you can use masking tape as a, as a, as a straight edge which would be very useful. Martha, you need a J? I found it, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna put J.S. for Jude Stewart. And I'm gonna give her a pelican in memory of our trip to the Galapagos. No, I'm going to the E. Have any of you been to the Galapagos? No, no. but I've watched documentaries on them. Oh, the fabulous place. Did you see iguanas? Oh, you did, and what, did you see all the animals? All the animals, love the blue footed boobies. Oh, yeah. Probably, probably my favorite. They're so beautiful. They're, the whole the whole place is just an inspiring, inspiring and, and wonderful venue for natural oils. What was your favorite part of the trip? Um, favorite part was watching the the young children, the four and five year old, actually um, swimming with white uh, tipped sharks, with hammerhead sharks, with giant sea tortoises, and because the animals in the Galapagos have never been threatened by man. They don't know fear, and they're not responding in any way, uh, ba any bad way. So it's been quite, it was quite a wonderful trip. So I'm going to do my S first for Jude Stewart. Now, Andrewin is doing another project at the table over here, and they're decoupaging clipboards, which are perfect for college students. So all, everybody needs clipboards. Uh, and, and you want them to be pretty. You don't want just your plain brown clipboard. And we have some really pretty papers. And it's an easy, fun craft. So all we're doing is we're starting with plain. Oh, you charge, you, you chose pink. It looked like random. We need block. to, we need to get yeah. your, oh, yeah, you might have to lift that lift up. up. Yeah. It's pretty forgiving though. Yeah, just and lift here. it up. Get get all those wrinkles out. Can you hear? Is there no, a bone? Not all the way. This way. Yeah. Is there a bone yeah. folder? Yeah. Thing? We need a bone yeah. folder. A bone folder. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Smooth it from the in from the middle out. Yeah, so you'll we get just, it smooth. No, no, no. Bone folder is this way. Yeah. Are you watching? No. <laughs> <laughs> so plain clipboard, and we have a decoupage medium, which is a specialized glue. And that's the Martha Stewart product, too. Yes, yeah. and this is an excellent, this is matte, so it will dry, um, not shiny, it'll just dry smooth and satiny. And all you do, oh, this is the key thing, this is the cool part of this project, a zip tie through both the holes on your clipboard. Oh, so you can just hang it to dry? Well, so that you can open up the clip. Oh, okay. See how it holds it open? Yeah. And then you can put your paper underneath without this, your clip sticking to your paper, <laughs> to your decoupage glue. And we're just going to cover it with a nice, thick, even layer. I have layer. to go put my J on here. Okay, go put your J. We'll finish up this project very quickly. A nice, even coat of decoupage medium. Oh, will somebody choose me a cool piece of paper? What paper should I use? Should I do a patchwork? It would be kind of fun. Hi, Kevin. You look really snazzy. Don't come too close to this glue in that beautiful suit. <laughs> this is one that was from the magazine years ago. This is the inspiration for this craft. 
so once you have an even coat, and you don't want it to dry, you want it to be wet, 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 wet. A nice, thick, even coat. This glue is going to keep the paper on there. That one, this is a great glue. So this paper, I'm just going to butt it right up against. May I borrow your bone folder? I do. And I'm just using the bone folder to smooth out any bubbles that are underneath the paper and smooth out all the glue. You're not smooth enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I don't think you put enough glue on. You didn't oh, maybe. Take that all off and put enough glue in an even layer everywhere. Yeah. You really want to press out the extra glue. Because you know, you, you, if you put on too much glue, oh, yeah. you just squeeze it out. Yes. The paints are the all-purpose um, Martha Stewart craft paints which are, are phenomenal and they come in um, satin, multi, they're called multi-surface paints and they really do um, uh, provide a, a permanent paint on whatever surface you want to paint them on. So wood, glass, plastic, uh, formica, whatever you want, this paint will remain on, on the surface and, uh, and really be uh, permanent. Linda would like to know, can you add glitter and make it as well? Um, I've never tried that, but I think probably you could. And glitter... Have, uh, glitter paints? Uh, and we do have glitter paints, yes. And can you repeat how long you bake it for and the temperature? Uh, 350 degrees uh, for 30 minutes and just let the object... Well, make sure that an object is glass or ceramic before you put it in the oven. Don't put a plastic container in the oven and expect it to withstand 350 degrees. So um, something glass or, or ceramic will do very well, or porcelain. And I'll just, here's my pouncer, somebody borrowed it. Now I'm doing the J. Yeah, this looks very nice. How, how are you coming? Oh, look at that, and you did a beautiful squiggle underneath. So. Eve, uh, is, is your, do people call you Eve? Yes. Oh, good, yeah. oh, good. I thought you were just doing Eve because well, uh, she didn't have enough glitter. <laughs> Her name is Evelyn, but uh, okay, Eve. Let me see, anybody else finish theirs? Still putting I like the pink. Pink is pretty. You don't want to look at it. Myself. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Yeah. We're debating if we should put squiggles on it. Oh, you could. I think I'm gonna do it underneath it. Oh, that's nice. I need a Q-tip. We have a Q-tip. We have a pouncer. You can also put this underneath if you want. Oh, that's good. I kind of have an emotional connection to the swivel now, though. It's kind of fun. Let's see if I can do it. Or you could put an arrow. What's it supposed to be? Maybe underneath. Yeah. So I got a J S for yeah. June Stewart. And if I can get another cup, I'll do a T S for Truman Stewart. Yes. So. Crafting with a, a group, this is a lovely idea for a birthday party, for a crafternoon. Yeah, have you ever attended a crafternoon? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, we do this at the public library sometimes. Such a cute name. And the people can come in and, and craft. It's a, it is a lovely uh, way to spend time with friends and, and actually accomplish something. Uh, 
Pardon? Oh, these are all, these are the interns, uh, students who are working at Martha Stewart um, Living and at Sequential Brands this summer. And uh, we always like to have uh, uh, we various people in the company speak to the interns. We have a lunch, which we just had, and uh, which was delicious. Circle thing you can put around. And we uh, just like to to get to know our interns as as well as we can. I'm washing these letters. Down, I'll wipe the top part off. The question is, what were you going to say? I don't know, it popped out and stood out to me. It's a fun activity. <laughs> I get so involved in these things, I just lose myself crafting. I love crafting. Can I have a scissor? Thank you. How's everybody doing, Judy? Good. Oh, that's a better one. Thank you. You're welcome. So we have um, we have students from all over the country uh, interning with us this summer, uh, and uh, you can see it's uh, quite a nice large group of students, um, and it's. Um, the way for you know a, a company to uh, get additional help during the summer months when other people are going on vacation, but more valuable than that, it's it's actually introducing uh, a, the younger generation to your kind of company in hopes that possibly uh, some of them will come back and work. And we've oftentimes gotten uh, some of our interns to return um, after they graduate and come work at the company. So it's a very nice two-way, really a two-way street, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I really enjoy having all of you here, and it's really nice that you that you are here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just going to use some of the extra paper. We've cut off the extra by turning it upside down on a cutting board and I just trimmed the outside with an X-Acto knife. So I have a little extra remnant so I'm just going to decoupage this right up into the corner. And sometimes I would say it's a good idea to wait until this is dry before you cut it. We didn't do that because we're in a rush because we're hurrying ourselves along. <laughs> So if you have a little bit of rough edge that you don't really love, we're fixing that. And actually, Samantha is doing some really pretty crafting by punching out more paper and decoupaging that over the first piece of paper. So it's a really pretty accent. It's also a really nice, elegant way to clean up if you have a little bit of roughness or if you have a bubble that you don't like. Just cover it up and make it beautiful. Oh, so we just got an interesting uh, response. It has nothing to do with the afternoon, but it says, Hi, Martha. Off topic, but I'm making my first Martha and Marley spoon recipe. Oh, my. The quality of this food is amazing. That comes from Paige Brazel Jackson. And uh, thank you so much. See, I love to get responses like that. And I hope any of you who have been trying any of our craft uh, tools, our craft items, We'll also call in and tell us, tell us of your success with them. Um, it's, uh, you know, that's what we like to hear. It's really great. And uh, thank you all for watching the Burger Facebook Live. We got like a million people to watch that, um, that wonderful, wonderful Facebook Live. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed the burgers. They must have, right? So, um, I'm now trying to peel off. So I've done the Martha. I've done the Jude Stewart. 
I'm not quite done. I have to do a little embellishing. And I've gotten the T for Truman. And now I'm trying to get the S. So, very fun. But this is one of our uh, several conference rooms that we have here at our offices. This one is, I love, because it's so bright and sunny and uh, it looks straight out at Hudson Yards, which is going to be a, a huge new real estate development. Uh, it's really the old train yards right here on 27th Street uh, and 30th Street on the Hudson River, uh, an extraordinary part of New York City. And uh, it's uh, certainly worth, and the High Line comes all the way here now. You've heard of the High Line Park, I hope. So we have uh, lots of good views and, and lots of uh, wonderful places to visit in our neighborhood. So there's the S going on. So Kat would like to know, can you do this on clear glass? Oh, you certainly can. And clear glass takes the stenciling so very nicely. Uh, and it looks like those old fashioned uh, glasses that you would get at the, uh, as a premium for a, at a grocery store. Uh, but it's which are very chic and collectible now. Now, did somebody borrow the black oh, yeah. counter? Can I have it back? <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to do the S. Remember, this is called a pouncer. And I've managed to get black all over me. Don't know what's going on here. I think that's going to be good. And uh, let me see yours again. Oh, yeah, Eve, look at this lovely curl of two. Thank you. <laughs> and, I like, and I like the purple. The color. Truman Stewart turned out well. T S. Excellent. So I'm going to let these dry and I'm going to bake mine. Are you going to bake yours? Yeah, yeah yes. definitely. Yeah, I think yep. you should. Uh, they'll, do it, they'll do it for you in the kitchen. Oh, nice. Yeah. Any other squiggles that we have? Um, Any other one. fun things? Exclamation! I'm using one of the squiggles. Yeah. There's like arrows. So Martha, I have a question from Kara. She wants to know: Is there a trick to cleaning off the paint if it gets on your hands or clothes? Wash. Go to the sink. Wash, uh, water takes it right off. Yep. Completely nice. water soluble. Yeah. This is a great paint. It was uh, developed um, with um, a, a wonderful company uh, who are you know, just extraordinary in, uh, in in paint technology, and they worked with our designers here at Martha Stewart Living to uh, make sure that uh, it would fulfill everybody's hopes and dreams. And it really does do that. This all-purpose paint. And uh, it was like, you know, I think, voted the most innovative product last year. So um, it is a great, I think an arrow would look good here, telling people to pour their liquid <laughs> in the top of the cup other, other than on the bottom of the cup. Yeah. Just so they don't get confused. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a silly thing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, so maybe I could, is there, any, is there a pink pouncer anywhere? Oh, I just did this. Oh, good. I'll oh, the pink pouncer. So, for those of you at home, make sure that uh, once you create your beautiful monogrammed a cup or glass or plate uh, that you follow the instructions and make it totally permanent by baking it in a 350 degree oven uh, for 30 minutes. Now let it cool right in the oven. And, uh, and I'm very glad that you joined us for our Crafternoon here at Martha Stewart Living. Uh, join us next time for Facebook Live. Ciao. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.